Imagine you lost your iPhone or it has been damaged or you're going to upgrade to a newer version. Now the question is, have you backed up your data? Mm, not sure. That's fine. I'll show you how to make sure you backed up your data. I've seen so many people that lost their messages, contacts, photos, password for different apps and their data. Okay, let's start. Let's have a look how and see how to make sure you're backing up your messages. Go to settings, scroll down, you will see messages. Tap messages. Under messages, you will see iMessage. It's turned on. Tap on iMessage. And if you can't see your Apple ID here, that means it's not backing up your messages is not backing up to your iCloud. Tap on use your Apple ID for iMessage. Tap on sign in. It will take a while, 10 seconds, and then you will see your Apple ID in here. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I lied to you. Oh no, I didn't just came through now okay now how do we make sure that messages are backing up to iCloud tap on iCloud go to messages and make sure it's switched on great now let's take a look at photos again tap on settings scroll down a bit more you will see photos Tap photos. Make sure iCloud photos is switched on. There are two options optimize iPhone storage and download and keep originals. To save some storage in your iCloud, you can select optimize iPhone storage. And also, if you want to transfer your photos to Mac or PC, if you tick automatic, then it will automatically will be compatible with your system. Otherwise, it will keep with the original format and you may not be able to see in your PC or Windows laptop or computer. Now let's go to iCloud and make sure photos are turned on. Great. So, so far, we make sure that messages and photos are backing up to our iCloud. Now let's talk about contacts. Under iCloud, make sure contacts is switched on. Now let's go to settings, select contacts, and under default account, make sure iCloud is selected as a default account. Because I just switched it on, it's appeared right now. Here you go. Make sure iCloud is the default account. Great. Now, the fourth option that I'm gonna talk about is, let's say you signed into a new iPhone device, but you don't want to put your username and password for each and every apps, or your Wi-Fi passwords or your credit card details can go to your iCloud and make sure the keychain option is switched on. This way you don't have to put your password for each and every application. Now we made sure messages, contacts, photos and username and password for each and every application is on and synchronizing with iCloud. But how do we make sure we back them all up? Under iCloud, make sure everything is switched on, except the mail app. Personally, I don't turn on the mail app because it will occupy the space. So except the mail app, you can switch on each and every component. Here you go. Now, the most important option is iCloud Backup. If 
you make it green that's fine it will turn on the backup if you already is ticked for you still you need to check the last successful backup date as you can see last successful backup is 23rd of May I can back it up now I have to make sure my phone is plugged into a power supply connected to Wi-Fi and the screen is locked thanks for watching this video I hope this will be informative and I'd like to thank you